That is the cool part about season three of Ms. and Mrs. You get to see the insights of what it's like to be a star on Dancing with the Stars. Like you see the glitz and the glamour, you see the finished product of the dance. You don't see the behind the scenes of what the stars are going through. So heading into season three of Ms. and Mrs. June 6th, how excited are you both to head into this third season here? Did you envision this kind of longevity for the show? I think, I think we did. We just had fun with it. It is our baby. And um, it's, it's just, we have so much fun, generally so much fun doing the show. And, you know, when we first started, we were not sure about having the cameras in our house because we've been in front of the cameras, but it's different when they're in your house with your family and you're putting yourself out there like that. You're not an actor acting. It's literally your life. So, but it brought my family together. Yeah. Um, and what, what we really basically said was we're going to give everything like the, if, if we're going to let the cameras in our house, we're going to allow them to see and experience exactly what it's like to be in our household. So we didn't hold back. And, you know, season one, we didn't have any kids. Season <laughs> three, we have a four year old and a two and a half year old. And it is absolutely pandemonium all day, every day. <laughs> Animals <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. so exciting to watch though too and you know I get a kick out of both your parents too I have to say and <laughs> Maurice your mom Marjo like she is such a trip I love her and you know in this these first couple episodes here you know she's moving into her own place so I wanted to know from you how is she doing now that she's you know heading out on her own there she loves her house now she loves now. it now <laughs> when I first told her so this is what's weird because when I go, we got her a house and we completely furnished the house so she wouldn't have to think about it nice she gesture a, nice gesture wonderful and when I told my mom she uh, she got upset was not happy at all you want to kick me out no we don't want to kick you out well, we do, but we're trying to do it in the <laughs> nicest way possible by giving you a place. Mm -hmm. Usually people would go, oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm out. She was like, I'm staying here. It's like, no, but wait, we got you a place already. Like, it's already ready and done. So my mom would focus on the negative, the negatives mm -hmm. right away. Like, it's the first thing she sees instead of seeing the beautiful picture. And then she gets to see the beautiful picture and now she loves it. But at first it takes her. You know, it's when I, it's basically when I said I didn't want to have anyone in the room when I give birth, but my husband, oh my God. You don't want me in the room? No, we don't want you in the room. I was like, a mom, like, please, yeah. like, and why do I have to explain? <laughs> yeah, so she had to warm up to the idea and you guys needed your space, so. Yes. yes. <laughs> like, we need our privacy and we've been together for 15 years. We have two kids. We work together, but. We need to have a long time. We should get to see on on, Ms., on the season of Ms. and Mrs. It gets a little. Um, well, you don't get to see too much. I mean, it's a family show. It's a family show. But it it's insinuated. It's, you know, we're, <laughs> we're trying to think keeps going. Like, you know, you got to work keep, on your you need relationship. You to keep things spicy. Okay. And even when you guys do have those quiet moments there, I saw one of the episodes, your dad, George, you know, he kind of got in the way a little bit there, but then you guys had that fun bet about like dancing with the stars and a little bit. he gets in the way all the time. He's <laughs> always in the way. Uh, that is just my father. It's who he is. And he's, you know, he's, but he, he, he's George, you know, he's, he's George Mizan and everyone knows, I think someone like him, uh, he's set in his ways. This is how he is, but we get in arguments all the time. And my dad is, I, I think of him as a typical dad. Everyone else tells me that's not your typical dad. Like my dad always gave me a hard time. Like when I was, you know, the captain of my baseball team, I was an average baseball player, even though I was like the starting pitcher. Uh, you know, whenever I would do something great, like I would win the WWE championship, he'd be like, yeah, but you're not the front page on the poster. And it's like, yeah, but I won the title. Like it's, there's always something. But that is George. You know, you can't always listen to what George says because it's George is just a character also. So you take it as like, oh, OK, George, my kids love the grandparents. They, they're so sometimes you pick your battles and you just go, OK, sure. Definitely. And I mean, it, it, it's fun for us to watch, but I can imagine <laughs> the chaos that is 
in your house there, but it's fun to watch and it's fun to experience. I think it's relatable for everyone because everyone has a family, has kids and everyone's going through the same kind of hardship. Did you say hardship? Yeah. I mean, I speak French. no matter where you're from. <laughs> so it's, you kind of relate. It's, oh, wow. We see them on television, but this is what it looks like in their house when they go home. Yes. And it's like everyone else. exactly what everyone else goes through. Cause when you have kids, you have something in common with everyone. Oh, for sure. And, you know, I did want to don't care who you are. They don't care if you're a WWE superstar. They don't care. You just it's like, that. play with me right now. I don't care who you are or how old oh you God. are. I love the dynamic. It's so cute. It's so fun to watch. And, you know, I wanted to jump a little bit back to, you know, that bet that you had going on because it is surrounding this Dancing with the Stars. And I have to ask you, um, Ms. I always get confused. Is it Mike or Ms. Would you prefer? I, I go both. by both. Okay. I just want to make sure. And, you know, looking back on it, Dancing with the Stars, that experience, I'm sure there were a lot of things that you learned being in it as opposed to, you know, being a viewer. So what was, what are some of those things that you can share looking back on it now? Some things that may have surprised you about the experience. That is the cool part about season three of Ms. and Miss is you get to see the insights of what it's like to be a star on Dancing with the Stars. Like you see the glitz and the glamour, you see the finished product of the dance, you don't see the behind the scenes of what the stars are going through mm-hmm. while, you know, they, you don't get to see the household and, and how it affects everything that you do. And so it really does. Like I, I would train for three hours at the building and then I would come home and I would be in the garage and, you know, just practicing nonstop. And it's, it's a really hard show, but it's so much fun. And you don't realize how much fun you're having until after you're off of it. Because when you're a competitive person like I am, it's hard to enjoy something while you're doing it because you're just thinking about winning and how you could win and how you could do better and be better. And you want all the steps to be perfect. Now I'm out of it and I'll look back on my dances. And these are dances that I was in when I was in the show. I was going, oh, I missed this step. I did this wrong. I did this. And she'd be like, that was great. That was amazing. I was like, nah, it, was, it wasn't good enough. You know, even Bruno said it wasn't good enough, you know, and so I would look back on these now and I look at them and I go, oh, my gosh, like, I can't believe I did that. Like, I'm really proud of this dance. Yeah, I was rooting you on for sure. And, you know, I'm sure when you're getting off of those dances, you always remember the little things that you miss instead of like the bigger picture, which you did amazing on the show. And Maurice, what was that like to support him there? I'm sure you guys did a lot of dancing at home. (laughs) Well, it was pretty amazing. And I've worked with him for so long and I know his facial expression, your face before getting on on the dance floor was just pure petrify. Like I've (laughs) never seen his face like this. He's been against giants wrestling WrestleMania in front of hundred thousand of people. And I've never seen his face like that. Well, you know, I, I trained for years to be on TV and WWE, to be a professional wrestler, to be a WWE superstar. But going into Dancing with the Stars, I have days to not only get a dance, get it perfect, but get judged by professional ballroom judges. So that's an immense amount of pressure. And I'm going up against people who have danced their entire lives. Mm-hmm. Like, th- that's, I- I've never danced before. Like, it'd be like going up against a professional baseball player and you never played baseball before and you're just learning how to do it. Like, that's what it feels like. You know, it's wild that you mentioned that you could tell his facial expressions because whenever you were on the dance floor, I never felt like you were nervous or just being a viewer. But so it's wild to hear that now. You know, it's funny with with being in WWE, when we're backstage, you don't see the nerves. Mm-hmm. When I come out like I'm backstage, I'm, I'm usually pretty nervous backstage. But when I come out and I hear my music, everything goes away. It all turns into adrenaline and I'm out there and I'm in the moment. And that's exactly the way it was with Dance with the Stars. I thought I was going to puke before I would go out there. And then once I get out on the dance floor and the music hits, it's just you go through the moat. You, you do what you got to do to do really well in your dance. Yeah. And I mean, looking back on it now, like you did really well. And I'm, I was rooting for you for the whole season. So I was disappointed when you left. Thank you. <laughs> and, you know, jumping on, you know, WWE, you mentioned you guys did speak with pop culture in 2020, late 2020. And you mentioned that you had 
um, kind of a top secret project with WWE Studios and your own production company. I was wondering if there were any updates that you could share on that front. Ooh, if you can. Are there That's any updates one. we can share? <laughs> we can't go into depth right now, but we're still working on We have uh, two projects right now in the works that uh, we're, we're working on and getting it to where it needs to be. Three, three, actually. Well, oh, wow. Yeah. A lot on your plate. <laughs> the, the third one's a little new. So. The third one's a little new, but the third one is very excited. I love the third one okay. a lot. So, too. yeah. I love but, all of them, but the third one's very good. Yeah, but we, we you can't say no, it. we cannot go into depth <laughs> because we have not, uh, they're still in the developmental stages. Mm -hmm. When you're in developmental stages, you can't really talk about them out here. Right. Do you think these are projects that we can expect maybe this year or are we looking at 2023? I would say 2023. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something to look forward to there. And, you know, as we're wrapping up here, I have to say, I have to be honest with you. I jumped at the opportunity to chat with you because I am a big challenge fan. First and foremost, like I remember all you must the be loving life right now because now they got all stars. They got the real <laughs> challenge. You got all these different challenges. Okay. Yeah. See, speaking of that, I was going to ask, would you ever go back on the challenge? Like all stars, anything like that, going back to that world? I mean, I retired in 2005 from those challenges and I love the way they paved the way for me to do what I love to do right now. And I just don't have time yeah. for to, to, to take that amount of time out of my schedule to do that, especially with a four-year-old and a two and a half year old. I think these things take, I mean, they used to take a month and a half to film. I don't want to be away from my kids for a month and a half, mm -hmm. you know? So that's kind of a, a, a big deal to me. And of course, with all these new projects on your plate too, I'm sure, where would you find the time at all to do something? I wish I could clone myself and clone <laughs> Maurice so we could do a bunch of more projects. Oh, yes, for sure. And you know, Maurice, I was wondering, have you seen Mike on like the real world and challenge? Like, I've seen a little bit, but she doesn't like, want to watch it. VHS no? cassettes, and unfortunately, that's so it's just so old. I don't have the device to watch them. How so. crazy is that? All my real worlds <laughs> are on VHS cassettes, like they're on cassette tapes. Isn't that crazy? That's how yeah. long ago I did it. So I'm saying that as a joke and then it's real. I don't have a VHS. No, who does? <laughs> well, I think maybe, I think I might've watched one of the Infernos on YouTube. Just putting that out there. The Infernos were- oh, like, I've seen a job. bunch, a bunch. You were so young. Oh, I was my young. I, my voice even, like if yeah. you listen to my voice and the way I talk now compared to the way I talked it's then, complete, it's a different voice. It's the first thing I noticed when I watched videos of you back 20 years ago, even- when the diva search, yeah. when we first met, your tone was just well. Very you different. were speaking only French yeah. in the diva search. Like she didn't even speak English ten years ago. Was it 15? 15. 15 years ago, she didn't speak English. So you had a different cadence as well. Yeah, <laughs> but it's so funny that you mentioned it because you seem so similar to me when I'm watching like Mike and Mrs. I'm like, or Ms. and Mrs. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is exactly like the Ms. When I was watching him on Inferno too. It's so. It's funny. To <laughs> I think I liked, I, I think I've evolved a little bit. I've grown well, up. I mean, a like in the cadence of your speech and stuff. Yes. I'm like, oh, this is definitely Miz <laughs> to the max. And I love it. That's why I love the show. I'm like, this is full circle for me oh. too, watching it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, of course. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat with me for pop culture. I really appreciate it. And Miz and Mrs. is out June 6th. Be sure to tune in.